Cheeto, did you notice anything in your second fight against Sugar Sean that's different from your brief fight with him in, in the first one? Coach tell me a bunch of times, like, he's not going to have the same energy the first fight. The, the first time we fought, he have a little bit of that, like, like pussy energy. And I'm not even talking shit. He was kind of, like, breathing hard. And he was kind of like, oh, oh. This, like, he was fighting a guy with experience, right? The second fight, I turned my ass off. Camp was good. I did everything possible to win this title because that was everything I wanted in my life. And I underestimated a little bit his energy. And coach told me, he's a champion now. He's coming of beating the champion pretty easy. He, he's going to be on another level of confidence. And I said, I don't give a fuck. My energy is harder. I went in there thinking like that. I think I have a great first round. But then the energy was pretty much the same. We both were prepared. We both won it all. The thing that I will say that I could do better was becoming a little bit of a, of a better athlete on my conditioning, on my on everything around how to move my body better. I have my feet heavy in the ground because I'm so like, I'm like, I'm a punch away. I'm a punch away because I trust my power. But mm. sometimes you have to mix it up. Mm. And the only thing that I would say, he say I, I wasn't even get close enough to him to smell his hair. His braids were full of grease. And that's not illegal. I mean, it is illegal. But he didn't braid his hair through the UFC because when I braid my hair through the UFC, they don't put that much of a wax because I still braid my hair sometimes and they put a lot of grease. When I clinch him, he was just like a fish out of water. He was gone. He said I didn't touch him. I watched the fight. I tried to clinch him like 10 times. But I mean, no excuses. Fair and square. The fucking asshole won. Good for you. Man, that's a new strategy. I didn't even think about that. I mean, think about he, it. You're talking about grease in the actual hair, physical grease. Well, gel. Yeah, to yeah, make, yeah. To make the braids, you have to put a crazy amount yeah, of gel. Yeah. Because I braid my hair sometimes here in Urban. Shout out to Linda's great African ladies. They fucking do an amazing job. And they use a lot of gel. When the UFC lady does it, she uses like a little bit of water. She doesn't use a lot of product because you're fighting. He was back with product. But couldn't that run down the front of you and get in your eyes and stuff like that? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's, I don't know. I, I, the, the only time I braid my hair for the Frankie fight, they use, like, a little bit of water and, like, tiny bit of product. So I, I wonder if GSP braided his hair for him. <laughs> oh, he, I heard he grease a lot. <laughs> when he fought B.J. Penn, I heard he was... Yeah, B.J., yeah. I hear it was full uh, of grit. But like uh, I mean, yeah, going I, back to the fight. I agree with you. He on, fought on, well. He fought the, well. He fought well. He moved well. I need to stay ahead. 